Hi guys, okay so I chat about meditation and stuff a lot and one of my subscribers asked me to discuss Buddhism and Buddhist meditation. Now a bit of a disclaimer first of all, I am not a Buddhist. I don't class myself as a Buddhist even though I do do Buddhist meditation I go to a Buddhist meditation class purely because one, I don't really like being told I've got to be part of some club and Two, in the Buddhist um, philosophy, they talk about reincarnation, which doesn't sit well with me. I don't believe in it. So I just don't kind of put a label on myself. However, in Buddhism, they do actually say if it doesn't, and I'm totally paraphrasing, if it doesn't sit well with what you believe, your thought process, then leave it leave it be. So the one thing I like about Buddhism is that it's not about a God. I, I don't believe in God. I've spoke about this before. Each their own, do your own thing, but it's not for me. It doesn't sit with my scientific brain, even though I'm not really scientific. I'm kind of artistic, blah, blah, blah. Anyway, whatever. I don't believe in God. And um, so when I went to the Buddhism class, I went because I wanted to meditate. But actually I went there and there was a lot of people who actually did believe in a God and believed in a different religion. Um, but you still went to Buddhist class, which kind of sat really well with me because it meant there was loads of different people sat in the room all being cool with each other, which was good. Um, the Buddhist meditation class that I go to, uh, we discuss a certain topic. So it could be how to deal with anger. And then we discuss what the Buddhist principles are for that. So about letting go. Um, so I'm like Elsa from, actually Elsa must be very Buddhist because she's like, let it go. Um, which is what uh, Buddhist principles are about. It's about facing life head on. They talk about samsara, which is that the world is shit. <laughs> Basically, when I first went, I kind of went, what? That's totally against what I think. I'm really positive. But what it's saying is the world is going to throw you some challenges every single step of the way. It's how you deal with them and how you face them. And that you can tackle those challenges in your own head and win those battles in your own mind rather than trying to affect and change the world around you, which you're definitely going to fail on because you can't control everything around you. So that sat really well with me and the whole meditation side. Meditation is fantastic for you. It doesn't have to be some, you know, hippie thing where you sat on... Um, bean bags and candles which is great and nice if you can do that but it, it, it really should just be about finding a way to find calm and peace and breathe and just be in the moment that's what meditation is about for me and I'm massively about finding ways to fit that into everyday busy life you know we live in this busy fast-paced world and I you know meditation having that time you know to think about sitting down for 10 minutes seems alien to us so we need to find ways to be present right now so I do lots of things throughout the day sometimes it could be as simple as having a cup of tea and just concentrating on the cup of tea and what it tastes like what it feels like what the cup feels like just being mindful and being present in that moment will be a form of meditation obviously some people have God so they pray and in my opinion that's just a form of meditation it's meditating on the good that you want to happen so that can only be a good thing regardless of where you think that's going to it's obviously bringing you positivity within you so that's what works for me a lot of the buddhist principles just really sit well with me the whole um they talk about letting go of the hot coal and i think about this a lot because what they say is if you hold on to a hot piece of coal it's you that's going to get burned and they use that as an analogy for say if i'm arguing with someone and human nature is to think about it hold on to it and be negative about it and hold on to that hot coal in our hands and we want to think about it, talk about it to everybody and seethe with rage in our own minds. Or you could just let go of the hot coal, stop thinking about it, stop talking about it and move on. And you know what? You actually feel a lot better for doing that. So that is something that I have to think about all the time. Human nature is to resort back to type and to resort back to all the silly things that we do in human life and you know be negative and moan and blah, blah blah and all those things however we can change that we can do it differently and that's what buddhism just reminds me to do it's it's a great philosophy on life and that works for me i know with every sort of group that's the reason i don't say i'm a buddhist with every group there's going to be weird sectors of it and things but what i've found of it was really positive it was just different people from different walks of life, from ex-drug addicts and convicts to suits from the city, all sat in one room. I thought that was pretty cool. All sat there being peaceful and accepting each other 
and truly nobody goes to a Buddhist meditation class unless they've had shit go on. So it's kind of a nice place to go if you have because it's a very accepting place and people are pretty cool. So that's what I found, that's my thoughts and nothing more, nothing less. If you take anything from that, then cool. If you don't, then that is also cool. Peace out, have a fantastic day.